Hello all, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, welcome, glad to have you along. Um, doing another cigar review. I have one that I've already reviewed, but it was a different size. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this review and then in the information below the video, I will provide a link to my previous review so that you can watch the two videos and comment on what you think whether and you know as as you know people's palates change over time so we'll see how it was between then and now so it should be interesting all right well and i full disclosure i have not watched my previous review so i'm going into this with nothing from the previous review um that has no influence over this whatsoever. So, um, but I leave it to you, my viewers, which I greatly appreciate. Thank you very much to determine how it was and if things have changed. So, and I will not watch the review after this either. I'll just provide you the link and the information below. Okay. Let's get started. Now, what I'm doing is a Camacho Corojo. And Camacho's been out a while, and I, I like this brand. It's a good brand. Um, they got a pretty good variety of different types of smokes. Um, I've, like I said, had this before, did a review on it before, but it was a different size. And I can't remember exactly smoking the other one, I mean, usually I'm pretty good at remembering a cigar I've had before and what I thought of it and what it was like and everything. I'm usually pretty good at it, but I'm getting old, so the old noggin doesn't remember quite the things it used to, which I guess it is what it is, you know what I mean? Anywho, all right, let's get on with it. Okay, Camacho Corojo. There you go. And to me, now, the light is making this wrapper look a little lighter in color than it actually is. I apologize for that. I'm still working on getting things set up, you know, trying to get things going. Um, but it seems a little dark for a Corojo wrapper. Usually a Corojo wrapper is uh like a rust red or somewhere in there you know um but this one is not it, it seems darker which it is what it is so i'm not gonna complain too loud i don't know that well we know that color does affect sometimes you know the difference between a connecticut shade connecticut broadleaf maduro double maduro so Let's get into this. Now, I already have this band, so I won't need to save this one because it's already in my book. Okay. Don't see any blemishes in the wrapper leaf. Looks like a clean wrapper leaf. Oh, little tiny bit right there. Right there above my nose. But it's fairly detectable. I mean, I, I wouldn't have said anything, but I want to be honest with you guys. But other than that, I'm not seeing anything. It's got a nice oily sheen to it, you know. Mmm, has some herbal notes. Grassy. Herbal, floral, I mean, that's kind of the best way I can describe it. It's not dark and earthy like a Madeira would be. But it's a Corojo, and it's not a Madeira, so. Yeah, I like the smell of it. All right. Got my trusty tabletop cutter here. We're not going to do a V-cut this time. 
we are going to try the regular cap jet. So here we go. Oh yeah, that came off a lot better. A lot cleaner than the V cut. Yeah, we can deal with that. Okay. Mm. Getting that herbal and floral notes through the pre-draw. Like that. Not getting a whole lot of anything else. Let me put the tabletop back over here. Okay. Yep, just getting some uh, floral notes, mainly. That's the predominant thing. Maybe a tiny bit of woodiness, but not much. Uh, the grassiness not coming through like on the outer smell. Okay, let's put some fire to it. See what happens here. Nice. Seems to be running up, up the core. Doing a core burn. Let's see if we can't solve that. I hate it when a cigar core burns. When it burns up the core and doesn't burn the outer wrapper leaf, it's a sign of poor construction. Yes, I can whistle, even though I've lost some teeth. I just can't do the really loud whistle anymore. Spicy. Fuller body smoke. A little more than medium to and getting into the pole. I'm not getting the floral, not in the smoke. I am getting some woodiness though. Bit of leathery, bit of leather in there. Yeah. All right, well, let's take a look at the information on this and see what all's going on. Okay, this is uh, the Robusto 5x50. Um, originate, originates in Honduras. Um, the wrapper is a Honduran Corojo. The binder is a Honduran Corojo. And the filler is 100% Honduran. So, pretty simple, straightforward. I like that. Let me look at that again. Yeah. It's a Honduran Puro. Everything is grown in Honduras for it. I like that. I like Puros. Yeah, that's nice. Get a little bit of uneven burn there, but I think that'll even out as we go along here. It's not core burning so much, so we're good there. Get a look at it here. Yeah, it's staying pretty even, as you can see. Nice white ash to it. Nice aroma back through the nose. Smooth, very smooth back through the nose. Very smooth. 
come back through the nose, I am picking up a tiny bit of that floral. Not much, just a hint. Okay, yeah, doing good. It seems to be evening out. All right, well, I will pause this, and then I will catch you up when we're about halfway through. All right, as you can see, getting down halfway mark here. Um, been a pretty good smoke. Um, ben has has been a bit of a core runner, but not terrible. Oh, went out on me while I was uh, getting things going here. Well, crap. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, bit of a core runner. Goes out really easy if you don't keep puffing on it. Um, might be just a little damp, you know what I mean? Really smooth, smoothed out a lot. Getting a little bit of cocoa hints in there. Um, just a little bit. Woodiness still coming through. Picking up a bit of, uh, no floral. That's gone. Picking up a bit of uh, something else I can't really describe. A little leather in there, that's it. When it does go, you get good smoke, good amount of smoke through it. Still good aroma back through the nose. Yeah. Other than that, construction's been really good, other than a little bit of the core burning. You can kind of see where the center is not so evenly packed as everywhere else. It's kind of got a weak center. So that's why it's core burning. But other than that, I've got no complaints with the construction otherwise. But to me, that's still, you know, a little bit of poor construction there. It must have been a new roller starting out or something. But, I mean, that's my only guess. Who knows? It could be any number of things. But yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying this cigar. I'm really liking it. I kind of like Corojos anyway. I've always... Maduros are my go-to usually, but my second is Corojos. I like Corojos. So, but like I said, this one, it's not the rusty red like a regular Corojo is. It's uh, a little bit darker, which is fine. I tend to gravitate towards darker cigars anyway, so I'm not complaining. Believe me, I'm just commenting. So, all right, well, I will pause this, and then I will be back on the finish. All right, as you can see, we're getting down to the bottom of it here. Really good smoke. I've enjoyed it, other than uh, core burning, but as long as I keep it going, that's not really a major issue. I mean, some people, that might be a major issue for them, but it's not for me. It's annoying, but that's about it. Still smooth. Getting a little bit of cocoa. A little more cocoa now. Uh, still getting the leather. Still a little bit of the Spanish cedar coming through. Um, very nice. Very nice. Nice aroma back through the nose. Really get the leather back through the nose. You really get the aroma of the leather. Um, it's really nice. So, all right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this review. Um, glad to make them. Glad to put them out there for you to watch. I really appreciate you watching. I, re I really appreciate if you'd subscribe, 
like, share, get the videos out there so I can get more people watching. I really appreciate it if you would. Uh, if you would like to help me keep making videos, you can find my Cash App and PayPal links in the information below. Like I said, I've already done a review on this one. Um, and I did not watch the previous review, so it did not influence this review whatsoever. And I'm not going to watch the review after this. This is just going to be a brand new review of the same cigar. Basically, just different size. That's the only difference. The other one was a uh, Gato or something, I think, maybe. I can't remember for sure. But it was a larger cigar. And uh, so that'll be there in the link if you want to watch it and compare to my notes to this video. That would be great. Let me know what you think. If you've had this cigar, let us know what you thought of it. If you have any cigars you'd like me to try, uh, leave them in the comments and I'll see if I can get a hold of them and do a review on them for you. Give you a shout out for it. Uh, if you donate, give you a shout out for donating to help keep reviews going. And like I said, reviews, uh, donations, never expected, but always very much appreciated. Very much. So, like, like share, subscribe. I'd appreciate it very much. And with that, I believe we will give this one a go and call it done. All right. Thank you. Appreciate you viewing. And as always, have a great day, ladies and gentlemen.